This is the trig section for the practice ACT. So it says for angle P in triangle PQR below, which of the following trigonometric expressions has a value of 5 over 13? Just in case you forget, um, we use this expression called SOHCAHTOA to remember trig functions. So the SO part means sine and then opposite over hypotenuse. The ka part means cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And the toa part means tan opposite over adjacent. So if we are to look at angle P, which is what it tells us to focus on, we want to know what 5 and 13 are. So across from the angle is always the side that's your opposite. Um, the hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. The third side is always called adjacent. And so if we were to look at 5 over 13, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. And I just told you over here when looking at our formulas, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. And so our answer would be cosine P. The second example says the figure below shows a right triangle whose hypotenuse is seven feet long. How many feet is the longer leg of the triangle? So the longer legs right here, same thing, we're going to label, so it's telling us to look at this angle. This side over here is opposite my angle. Seven is across from the hypotenuse. And so if you remember our little saying, SOHCAHTOA, I have opposite and hypotenuse, so I should use sine. When I set this up, I'm gonna write sine, the angle degree equals, O comes first, so it goes on top, so O over H, so that's X over seven. And then I wanna solve for X, so I would multiply by seven on both sides. My sevens would cancel. I have seven sine 60 equals X. And then I'm just gonna type this into a calculator. Now, the most important thing to remember is the mode has to be set to degrees. So you want to double check that, and how you do that is you press the mode button on your calculator, you go down two times, you go right once, it will say the word degrees, and then you wanna press enter so that it's highlighted. After you press enter, you can just press clear and it will exit you out so that then you can type seven sine 60. So when I type that in, I get 6.06. .06. So right away, I know it's not F or G. Then you're just gonna wanna start typing these into your calculator to see what their fraction would be. So this one is 6.06, .06, so it would be H. Example three for trig says, the dimensions of the right triangle below are given in meters. What is tan B? So same thing, we're gonna mark angle B Tan, if you remember, is the toa part, so that's opposite and adjacent. And so if I label this, here's my opposite. The hypotenuse is across from the right angle. The third side's called adjacent, and so opposite over adjacent would be B over A, so D. Example four says, in right triangle PQR below, the measure of angle R is 90 degrees. PR equals two units, RQ equals three units. What is sine P? So again, mark your angle, label your sides. So this is opposite, this is hypotenuse, this is adjacent. To do sine, I need um, O over H, because remember, SOHCAHTOA. So I need opposite over hypotenuse. And if you look, I'm missing a length over here with hypotenuse. But since I have a right triangle, I can solve for it using Pythagorean theorem. When we do Pythagorean theorem, this side that's the hypotenuse is our C. So if I were to fill this in, I get 2 squared 
plus 3 squared equals c squared. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 plus 9 is 13. We take the square root. c equals 3.6. Now that I have the hypotenuse is 3.6, I can set up my ratio. So I need to do O over A. And so the opposite side is 3. The hypotenuse is 3.6. It's best if I make that into a decimal just so I can kind of compare these. And it's about 0.83. And so then I just want to check which one of these is 0.83. So it's not this one. It's not 3 over 2. This is 2.5, so not that one. This is 0.55, so it has to be this bottom one, E. The very last trig example says, as shown below, a 14-foot ramp forms an angle of 63 degrees with a vertical wall it is leaning against. Which of the following is an expression for the horizontal length in feet of the ramp? So I'm going to mark my angle. I'm going to label my sides. So this side is opposite. This side is hypotenuse. I know that opposite and hypotenuse go with sine. So it would be sine 63 equals opposite over hypotenuse. I have to solve for x, so I'd multiply by 14 on both sides. And so I'm looking for this answer, which would be g.